Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. So, starting off with Euro USD as usual, and uh, we did get data out on Friday, which uh, was uh, not what we were expecting. So, um, <clears throat> the jobs number was a little bit, uh, well, not a little bit, quite way off uh, the forecast. So, as a result, the, the dollar got hammered. Now, there's, there's two things. We're still stuck in the range, and then the second thing is we are making this series of of higher lows so that when you look at it if we break the range to the upside that is a, a flat top triangle so we should see a move to the upside but basically it's a range break so you should have a move the same as the range but at the moment we are still range bound uh, for me personally I think the dollar is still in control so this little bit of uh, bad news here I still don't think it's going to drive it in any direction at the moment uh, so yeah, it, it's set on hands. Uh, we are on the sidelines. Now, if it is going to potentially break to the upside, I would expect some price action somewhere around here. So that's 113,200. So if we can get back into this area and start reversing, it may be worthwhile taking a shot at it. So I'd wait for the price action bars on the level and then take your your trade on the break of the price action bars. So what do I mean? So either an engulfing bar like that, uh, an inside bar like that, or a pin bar like that. Any one of those three price action or, or candle patterns on this level of 113.200, uh, my entry would be above that pattern and my stop would be below it. So it probably be around 130, 150 point uh, risk. And then you're looking for this gap close first at 3.40. So it's a two, almost a two to one trade. Um, moving on to US dollar Japanese yen. We had what looks like a flat bottom uh, triangle. You can see I pointed that out on Friday. But if we come down to the lower time frames now, the very good probability that this is now set up as a wedge. Uh, there we go there. So you can see we've had one, two, three, four touches to the upside, one, two, three touches to the downside, pretty solid wedge. So um, what we're looking for is continuation to the upside at the moment. And there's just one other level we need to pay attention to. And that's kind of where price is at the moment. So um, you can see we've had a gap up this morning. So what I'd be looking for is some kind of a pullback onto a little bit of structure if there is any, which is around there. And that is roughly 115.749. So if price comes back onto 115.749, again, same same drill there. Look for pin bars, inside bars, engulfing bars on that level. And we're looking for a move to the upside. If that fails, then I suspect we'll come back and close the gap. So uh, kind of a sit in hands position for me. Uh, Euro USD is a bit of a gamble uh, at the moment. Moving on to the pound and uh, British pound, Japanese yen, pretty much uh, this last week was up and then into this uh, consolidation pattern. And I think that consolidation pattern is what's dominating price action at the moment. So if we just get to the one hour, you'll see what I mean. So we start off the week solid and then we just went sideways with these big wild swings. Uh, Friday, there was nothing much really going on. So for me, this area here offers quite a bit of support and it is also a gap here you can see this gap is open in my eyes that's 157.072 so i'm looking for some kind of a pullback onto structure and each one of these tails here could offer support so i'm looking for a pullback onto that opportunity to buy and anticipating breaking this 157.500 or 157.450 uh, to the upside and uh, the reason for that is this is a very solid upward trend at the moment so i'm expecting that break and then a continuation so it could reject this and just bounce around you a little bit more and then break later in the week but that's kind of the the play that i'm looking for there and lastly uh, euro british pound uh, we are very much in this uh, consolidation pattern here and remember these are two weekly levels that we have here at 083371 and 083534 so what we're looking for is a significant break of those levels before we start getting in on this. So at the moment it is sideways, nothing really here. There is also a gap. So I would just adjust this to there. 
that was the previous you see there's a tail so and that looked like a double bottom break the upside we're finding some support they're going at the close on friday now we've gapped below it so i'd expect this to be tested uh, 083563 um, if that test and the test holds again price action on that level and i go down to the 15 minute for that then i'd be looking for a break of the price action for a continuation of the downside and pretty much just looking for 083371 um, if 083371 breaks then we have the bigger measured move to the downside or not measured move but there's a, another level of uh, support further down at 082752 so we, we're looking for the break to the downside we are in a downward trend the moving average is all pointing down but we need to see the break or sort of the retest of structure and that's the structure there 083563 so yeah, Monday morning for Forex, typically no news coming out, no catalyst, so a lot of time to be just range, um, or alternatively, it just continues in whatever trend it was in previously. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Anyway, that's it for me, hope it helps, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.